Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Maya, and in today's video, I'm just gonna get into it because I have a lot to say. I have a lot of passion that has been building up, honestly, ever since I started this YouTube channel, and it's about modern day women. So for me being a woman here in a modern day society, I see the shit that is celebrated in women. And for me, it should not be celebrated. You know, I don't really see a lot of women coming out and speaking upon this. And I think it's because we as a society have been heavily programmed not to question these things, but just to go along with whatever's trending in the media or believe what any woman says as correct and accurate, which needs to be questioned and examined. So in today's video, you guys, I really am just going to be bringing to light what I've been seeing and also what I participated in. So I'm not a hypocrite, you guys. I have greater knowledge upon this because I was in it. I was in the trap of what they're doing to women. And now that I uh, saved myself, I have some shit to say. And it ain't even shit, it's truth and it's facts. And it may be triggering to women who watch this, but if there is any trigger within you, it is there for a reason. Because maybe you're hearing some truth for the first time in your life about yourself. Because maybe we as women have a really hard time looking at ourselves in the mirror and saying, you know what? We could be the problem. <laughs> so let me just get into it, y'all. A trend that I see a lot, you know, even on YouTube now, I don't have social media. You guys know this, but it's pretty obvious what women think about men. You know why it's obvious? Because women are more masculine than ever. So it's quite obvious what's happening. Men are weakened in today's society, which makes women have to be half man, energetically. And the women who fall under the masculine trap that, you know, women kind of fall into at young ages by not having healthy masculine roles, role models, and then by that have that wound of having maybe daddy issues or you know then they attract other shit men just so they can see hey baby you got a wound inside of you that needs to be healed that's it but we can't look ourselves in the mirror anymore as a society and i'm talking to you men too look yourself in the mirror stop blaming women this is where what i want to start with y'all what we see in our external world is all based upon our belief systems and what we believe to be true now, that's not to say that, you know, if you believe this society is healthy, you know, we're, we still need to bring some things into the light. So this is the healthiest way to go about it is by speaking about it, by coming from love, y'all, because in this video, I can be a little harsh, but in certain topics, you need to be a little harsh because the softness ain't going good these days. We're soft with women. And softness is okay at certain times. But for people to wake up, you kind of need to, to be a little, uh, you know, passionate. Passionate. I'm passionate about this, okay? Because I care. I care about women. We can all agree that women are kind of forced to be masculine because men are weak in today's society. Women have to kind of take on the man's role in a lot of areas. And I'm not saying this is right. You know, me as a feminine woman who is centered in my femininity, no society, no man, no woman can tell me otherwise that my femininity is powerful. Because by a woman staying true to her femininity and that being enough in a society like today, that is how you attract a masculine partner. Not by being over masculine, not by shaming men, not by slapping them in the face and saying, why don't you like me? <laughs> Another byproduct of men being super weak, because women are like this over top of them, slapping them in the face, constantly saying degrading things to men, shaming them, having these really high standards that they can't even live up to in their own femininity. Why would a masculine man, a high value man that's masculine, why would he want to be with a half masculine woman? No man would want that. No true man would want that, sweetheart. 
And you're doing yourself a huge disservice by being in your masculine frame. And I know, I know, you know, in today's world, women kind of have to put on the masculine pants and go out there and work for herself and really work hard in today's world. And then the then women get comfortable in that, that mindset of no one's saving me. I got to go out there and fight the war as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fight it so hard that any man that comes my way, ooh, I'm going to fight him too. He, I don't need no man anymore, right? I don't need no man. They ain't good for nothing. Oh, they are good for everything. And this is why I speak to you guys. Because I see the men's power. And I want to assist men in waking up. But hey, me doing that, I'm a pick me girl, right? I'm only doing it for attention, right? But the woman behind the screen showing her ass and her tits, that's empowering, right? That's you loving yourself, right? Cut the shit. That is not you loving yourself. You exposing your beautiful body to weak men is not empowering. That shit is tacky. That shit is boring. That shit is not loving. And then you are the problem. I'm sorry if I'm getting a little heated. It's coming from love and passion. But y'all, wake up. No man would want his woman showcasing her goods online to everyone for free. To strangers. To weak little men behind a screen probably pulling the little every night to your pictures. And that's empowering? It's empowering making men weak <laughs> when you have everything to do with it and not everything. Men need to wake up. And this is why I have a channel really dedicated to building men back up and reminding them of their power. But I'm not going to do that by shaming them. I'm going to do that by speaking power into them, by Telling them that they're worthy as a man, that they are an aspect of the creator of God and they are here to lead. But women, we got to trust in men again. And how do we trust in men, Maya? Because I've been hurt a lot. Baby, we all been hurt. That's a part of being human is getting hurt. But where we get it twisted is by never looking ourselves in the mirror. Never saying, hey, why do I keep attracting all these weak men into my life and that make me really masculine? I wonder why. I guess it's just today's society's fault. I'm not the problem at all. Honey, you are part of the problem because once you heal that wound of you hating men, guess what? You will see a reflection of a healthy man because you are coming from healthy energetics of femininity that would never shame a man, that would learn a lesson that would integrate it into her being so she can regain a spiritual connection to the divine creator and never once hate on men, never once degrade a man because man is a part of God, as are you. So what are you doing spending your time on TikTok, on Instagram, saying men ain't shit, I don't need no man, I can do this with six, six inch heels and whatever. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Okay, I just went off a little bit. Let me let me have a sip of tea, y'all. So calm myself down, okay? One sec. Okay, I can really get into this subject because for me, I was a part of it. I was, you know, I was showcasing myself online. I fell into the modern day trap because guess what? Growing up with Instagram, I saw all these people posting their bodies, all these women posting their bodies, and they had millions of followers you know, whatever. And I was like, oh my God, that seems like a good life. And it seems really easy because, you know, I have a body, I have a phone, I have an Instagram account. Why not get some attention? And it lasted up until August, 2023, when I said, I have enough. I have had enough of the shit. I have had enough of degrading myself. I have had enough of needing validation from men, I would never want validation from. Ooh, let me say it again. That I would never want validation from. Why would I want validation from a man I don't know? From a man I don't respect? Why? Why? I don't know about y'all, but I want a husband 
I want to treat my husband with my femininity. I don't want to question his leadership. I don't want to question who he is as a man. But guess what? By me wanting that, I need to want my femininity just as much. And I do, and I am, and I show up in a feminine heart and a feminine essence because it is my duty as a woman. And the woman forgets her sacredness that is not found on OnlyFans, is not found by exploiting yourself to men and making them even more weak. You are the trap. You are the trap. You are the thirst trap. So don't blame men all the time. Blame yourself a little bit. A healthy amount of blame is actually quite good. If more people can take blame for things, then you can heal. But we first have to admit that we need some healing. And that's what I did. I admitted to all the shit that's hard to admit to. Like I need me needing validation all the time last year. Um, me not loving myself. I'm sorry. If you really loved yourself, why would you showcase your ass and tits online? And, and women are sneaky about it too. They're sneaky. Our mindset can get a little rewired as it being empowering because that's what's showcased and celebrated. And it's not. You can literally open up Instagram and see soft porn whenever you want. And children have access to that. What? What? And then we're like, why? Why can't I be feminine? This world is not allowing me to be feminine. No, it is. It's waiting for you to be feminine, sweetie. It is actually waiting for that. It's waiting for you. For me, you guys, how I view today's society is I really do think it's equal because we're mirroring each other. Remember, we are all aspects of God and God is love. So we all have love within us. But you see, we look for love in the wrong ways. We look for love in the wrong things. We embody love in a way that isn't loving to ourselves, but is in need of love. So this is why I, I preach you guys, especially as women, we have power inside of us. That power is by our intuition and our connection to the creator. And I've accessed that. And I'm not giving my femininity away to, to anyone, but I'm gonna show up in my femininity every day to whoever I interact with. Femininity is power is soft power and don't mistake femininity as being weak. A lot of people do. We think that being a submissive woman, being soft and gentle, that's a suppressed woman now. You gotta be super masculine. You gotta dominate the workforce. You gotta dominate men because men ain't shit and I gotta do the work. Uh-uh. No. Because I actually want a masculine man. And it's sad, you guys, because we have a lot of these influencers, a lot of these even social media celebrities, whatever, that trash talk men on the daily, that don't showcase femininity, really. They showcase a lot of hurt, and it shows by how they speak upon men, how they want this princess treatment, but they continuously don't speak life into men. They put them down almost on the daily. And honestly, two I can think of that really disturb me in in ways that it's just really weird to me that these are grown women talking like this is an ex corn star, Mia Khalifa, and Emily Ratajkowski is a model, whatever. And they they always speak down upon men, you know? And the men that they attract has nothing to do with the masculine energy itself. It has everything to do with their wounding. And by women with this amount of, of influence in young women in today's day and age, it's so sad that they can't showcase, hey, I attracted these men because I had a wound. And this is how you heal these wounds. Men aren't the problem. I'm the problem because I allowed this behavior. And how dare I go on TikTok and Instagram and shit talk men? It's so sad and twisted. Own up to your shit as women. Own up. If you've attracted men who have hurt you, don't blame all men. 
Blame yourself, sweetie. Blame yourself and go and heal. Go love yourself. Go find a connection to the creator, to God, to higher self. Remember that everyone is just a reflection of you. So if you attract toxic people, it is because you are toxic. Rewrite your narrative upon men and watch new men appear in your life that showcase that narrative of maybe healthy relations to men because you have a healthy relationship to your femininity. It's all glorified now, even like working out. Honestly, you guys, working out now is basically soft porn too. You go to the gym, women are in like the tightest shit ever, nipples almost out. And men, and then we're like, Oh, men are so, they sexualize the female body so much. Because everywhere you go, you're sexualizing yourself, baby. What? Like, women actually, I've seen clips of women in the gym wearing, like, the most absurd things with, like, their ass crack almost showing, their nipple almost hanging out, and then filming themselves. It's so wild. It's so wild. And I'm not saying, like, that's a bad thing. Like, women, do what you want. But don't get mad at men for sexualizing you. If you dipped your arm in blood and went into the Sahara Desert where there's lions, don't be stupid. You'll probably spot a lion that wants a bite of your arm. Just saying. Just saying. We as women in today's society have a duty, as do men. And our duty is to heal our wounding that sometimes has been passed down from generation to generation. Because guess what? Women in our collective energy, we've been hurt. We've been abused. We have not been treated right. But that's not an excuse to diminish who you are as a woman. That's not an excuse to shame men for being weak. We as women have a responsibility to empower men into their masculinity. Because as a society, we have agreed to weakness. And I will not agree. I will not. As a woman, you have a duty, a duty to not hate men. You look yourself in the mirror and you own up to every single man you have attracted into your life. And you heal the wound. You do not put alcohol on the wound and make it even worse by saying it's the men's fault because baby it is just as much yours and when women can rebalance in their feminine energy and we allow we actually allow men to be masculine again we will see it in the external world things will be more balanced there will be more healthy households there won't be broken households we can actually Raise great children with healthy frames of who we are destined to be and the energy we should embody. We have enough masculine energy on this planet. So if you're a man or if you're a woman watching this, as a man, you have a duty to be masculine, to be the leader, to protect, to provide and want that for your woman so you can gift her with femininity and then to assist you in your masculine leadership in your masculine leadership y'all i'm so feminine i'm already thinking about my children i'm thinking about raising great children and being with my husband and making them great meals and catering to my family and nurturing my family. If my husband comes home and has a bad day, I'll be the one rubbing his back. I'll be the one making a nice cooked meal on the stove, speaking life and love into the family because that is my job. And that's what I want. That's what I want. And that's what I'm going to get because I will never, ever be masculinized in a weak society that wants me to be. Not happening. We both, as women and men, we both have a responsibility here to rebalance the planetary energies. It's up to me and it's up to you. Stay true to who you are. Don't allow the society to make you weak. I love you. I thank you. And I bless you for listening to today's video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.